Hello everyone, in this short and quick video, let's deploy single node K3S on a remote server and use it as our Kubernetes infra. Now, for those who don't know K3S, it is a lightweight production grade Kubernetes, which is simple and powerful. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. And all you have to do is just run this one command that installs and configure K3S. For this demo, I provisioned Alma Linux 8 instance on AWS with two CPU and four GB RAM. Uh, you can also create an instance according to your requirement. Just make sure SSH port 22 and Kubernetes API port 6443 is open. Switch to root and run the curl command. So here I'm passing an extra option, write kubeconfig mode 644, so that the kubeconfig file created by the installer script is readable by all the non-root users as well. Additionally, you can visit k3s.io website to get more details on how to set up k3s, uh, single node or multi-node cluster, and also the other config options that are available. Now, this command will take a minute or so to run successfully. All right, it's done. So the installer script installed k3s successfully and it is running as a systemd unit. Uh, to check the status, you can type system CTL status K3S. It's active and running. So by default, the installer script installs kubectl in path slash USR local bin. So it installed Kubernetes version 24. And uh, so yeah, just make sure USR local bin is uh, added to the path environment variable. You can check that by running. So it's not here. You can use export command. And kubectl, get namespace. So if this path is not added to the path environment variable, then you have to you know, always mention the absolute path of this command. Um, this doesn't happen in all the cases, but yeah, if it's not available, just make sure to run export command. Um, yeah, now our Kubernetes infra is up and running. So now I'm in my local mission and uh, let's use ACP to download the cube config file from the remote K3S server. can get the public IP. Give the path of um, kubeconfig file. So yeah, now I downloaded the kubeconfig file k3s.yaml to my local machine. Now let's open this file and change the server address from 127.0.0.1 to the public IP. And now to let kubectl utility to know which config file to use, you can use a uh, kube config environment variable. Um, you can do that by running export command kube config equal to the absolute path of um, k3s.yaml file that we downloaded from the remote Kubernetes cluster. So let's run kubectl get ns. As you can see, both the outputs are similar. So let's create a namespace. Create namespace. So I created a namespace called created from my local. Let's uh, SSH into the remote server. So if you don't want to run export command whenever you log into the remote server, you can add this specific command to dot bash rc file or ATC profile file so that all the non-root users can uh, you know, make use of kubectl utility. Now let's check the namespace that we created from my local mission. Thanks for watching this video. 
and uh, subscribe to Harness Community YouTube channel to watch more such videos.